she's on the road. Cubotasness. What mod is this? It's a uh, Conquest of Siberia mod. So if it's any good. Just in. By the sword and by the spear. This should be easy. Cubotasness. Did you already join an faction or are you going to start your own one? Uh, you haven't joined a faction yet, but uh, I'm mostly working for the Tsarist uh, settlers in this uh, mod, so if they got like opponents, I'll, I'll jump into their battle. Thing. 
By the sword and by the spear. We go. That, that's a half naked bloke needs to put on a shirt. It's somebody else's Siberia, for God's sake. <laughs> That's the good thing. Oh, Gulmar, was that? Oh, Gulmar was over there. So sick.
<laughs> Good luck with that battle. Thank you. We're going to get moved down here. We've got to. Right. Line up here. Getting her done. First bit. Let's put out.
Oh, I forgot this. He's the Kobo. It's like a bunch of yurts to me. Cubotasness. Can you repeat that? It looks like they're laying siege to a uh, cobra. We also, but it looks like a bunch of tents to me. Well, yeah, it's you know, like your mongering herbs. I can't see anyone about so. It's not a long procedure, but that's all right. Tents or city doesn't matter to bully, the enemy is always fun. Ah, right. I don't know if it's got anything like fortifications, but uh. Yeah, I'm busy, I'll have like some. And what is your business here? Just looters for me to deal with. Right, it's just a bunch of looters. Got a bit too cocky there. Help, help those, it was in the middle of the night. <laughs> Cubotasness. You know any mods set in the Thirty Years' War? Uh, I'm not quite sure. Uh... I think there is some. Well, I'm not too sure. All right, let's join the bottom. That's a bit more fortified than the other one, so...
Cubotasness. In Dutch that's when my country got independence from the gay Spaniards that's why I like the 30 years war. Ah, that's... Oh no! Whoa! That was a close one. Oh crap. Cubotasness. I think it's smarter to be on the walls. Yeah, uh, uh, I'm trying to. I thought I was going to jump inside the castle, but. Uh, well, obviously, jumped outside the castle by mistake, and uh, obviously, they found me. It's a bit crap. At least we got two. Oh, we only got three, so we just left. Yeah. Might as well take this man with me. Right, soaked. <laughs> At least we get a. We still got our shirt on. In obviously, humiliators this time. Uh. Yeah, two firearms fit. And So I did. I've only got some rotten pork and some chicken. So they're trying to take the town back. They've been the stockaded town back.
short. Dumpty Dumpty suck on the wall, eating. Right bananas. That's quick. Cubo Tazeness. Best song ever after Disco Panzer. <laughs> to the widow units also. Cubo Tazeness. From what country are you? I'm from the uh, UK. From the East Midlands. We should know this. We ride to war. Cubo Tazeness. Nice, I like England. Yeah, that's a... That's quite a Take them out. Uh, 
so he tries to not shot him. That's one. Cubo nice. Tazenis. I want to visit England one time. I like tanks, and they have a big tank museum there. Because over to the museum. Just went there with us. Okay, I think. So we do some tasks. Cubo Tazenis. My favorite tank is the Caro Veloce. It's so stupid that I like it. I like the Soviet and Japanese tanks. They're quite uh, interesting. I like the the. Like the Chiha and the Type 94 Tanketti, that's quite good. And the Type 90, 89, I go tank, that's quite a. I think it was one of the first diesel tanks. The Type 89. I've read somewhere. She was married. <laughs> She's married. <laughs> Cubo Tazenis. Are those a more fan of Italian and British tanks? I don't know anything about Japanese tanks. Well, I had some, but... Uh... Weren't very effective, but I actually kind of like, like the design of them, actually. I actually kind of like the design of those Japanese tanks. Well, but they're kind of quirky looking, if you know what I mean. There's many cities in this, uh, what, it's just like, uh, stockaded towns and that. So it's just like castle, well, wood castles and stuff, well, towns. Cubo Tazenis. Also, you like fast tanks? Yeah, kind of. Like the BT and all that. I've got a model uh, BT2 tank. Hot Guma, what is that? 
think we took that, haven't we? Port Guma. No, Port Guma is under the Mongolian jurisdiction, but also it. Cubotasness. The BT5 is an funny tank, I like it can drive without tracks. It was uh, quite effective in the Battle of like, the Kalkan Gulf against like the Soviet universes G Jap Japan in like Mon Mongolia. That was. It gave the Japanese a hard time. Charming individual. This is the one with the siege tower. Yeah, the one with the siege tower. Yeah, it's the one with the siege tower, but that's it. Oh, it's up. Oh, yes, it is. Well, Japan's tanks are shit. If I show up to a tank battle against Japanese tanks, I only need an anti tank gun and a an horse. <laughs> they had some prototypes that were arguably as, probably as good as the Panther, but they. Uh, but I uh, dedicated a lot of the industry to uh, shipbuilding, so. Uh, nothing really. There are very few tanks that could really obviously make a effective you know on the war effort. Yeah, gonna move down here. Good out just follow me. I will just ride with my horse to them show and picture of anime girls and say you fight for this they will mass surrender or fight harder if they are weeds. Banzai! Yeah, oh dear. Oh, well, oh. Cubo Tazeness. Boom headshot. Yeah, that guy got it. Got it. Oh, crap. Too dangerous.
Ah, foi offside. This is all to make me a death. I'm trying to. Go, go. Oh, so dog power down there. No. Kind of vulnerable here. Guys, having a very nice day. <laughs> I think this is the the Mongolian equivalent of acupuncture. Cubotasness. LMAO. Cubotasness. You're fighting the Mongols. Well, uh, not exactly the Mongols, but they're like the si Siberians. Of like, uh, the Siberians. But uh, they have the aesthetics of the Mongols. But lots of it. Right, we want this. Right, I bet they try to take it back. Are we just left with like a very small garrison? Cubotasness. If their Mongols just tell them the British Empire is better than the Mongol Empire and all those Mongol Empire kids will start crying. Who's in the siege now? Rosiski. I seem to want Rosiski for some reason. That's the one we got. You know, we were after a couple of moments ago. To recapture. What was it? Yes, I hope I think it is. Yeah. yeah. It's not going to be much of a garrison. But
By the sword and by the spear. I should be used to fight. Cubotasnis was in a battle one time he said the Mughal Empire can defeat the British easily and I said to him dude one empire has guns one has bows how do you think that will go? Hmm. I think the Mughal Empire was successful because there was quite a lot of black planes on the, on like where they invaded and obviously they could get their horses like there quite easily. Also, also Genghis Khan was quite uh, smart in like distributing like the loot, so they got a lot of respect from the fellow Mongolian clans. That's why the Mongol horde got so big. Cubotasness. The Mongol Empire was successful because they were the first ever to use tactics in battles. Yeah. I know there were the. I know there were events defeated by the. For, uh, by the Russians uh, during the battle of a river or something like that uh, a couple of centuries later they basically got the the Russians basically took the guys the carnate's chair when they finished the battle and like sold it or something like that Cubotasness. Yes, yeah, something like that. Oh, we haven't got we've got thirty seven troops. Versus two hundred and thirty six. That was good. Dug up there, that's what it's Yeah Oh I like the Mongol Empire because it's epic to see big horse charges Yeah Don't Oh dear.
I have to look our wounds to recover. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Tribe of Mints <laughs> declared war against the Zaris Rush. This is oh, quite nice. They'll be captured, re re resuscitated from the Mongolians again. Let's wait for the next siege. I can't draw nothing. Why does everyone hate us? Trying to make Rizuski again. I don't know if that's my point because there's not going to be much of a garrison there, so. Cubo Tazenis. What ID? Cubo Tazenis. What is your favorite time period? Sorry, clicked enter too fast. Uh, I like the Russian Civil War, which is like the uh, 19. 20, uh, 18 to 20. Uh, I also like uh, World War I and World War II uh, games. And uh, I like, uh, like early, like, uh, Medieval period a bit. Right, we're back to Teutonic Knights and uh, the incursion into Russia. That's quite uh, interesting. Let's wait here for a bit. Let's 
Stop the screen. Soon a bit to Cubit. Cubotasness. I like the Napoleonic Wars. One Italian guy is seen as French takes half Europe until an British guy shows up in Spain. What marks the end of his victories? Cubotasness. Sire.